And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 207 pounds. The problem. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, the Great! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. A uh, little single collar tie there. Big call from Crunch Land. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the guy. Who blocks the shot? Look at how he drives his knee right into the opponent's midsection. Try to establish that jab. Checks the leg kick. Nice. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Back to the feet now. Oh, collar tie. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Caught that kick there. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow from the punch. What a body kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Trying to establish that jab once again. And he counters with a left hand. Nice head kick. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big leg kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Checks the leg kick. 
Nice one two there. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Nice straight punch. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice right, single so tie now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull him down on your head, land the punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Nice punch lands. Whiffs on the right hand. Come on, man. Let's get that takeout. Big roundhouse now just misses. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch with the clinch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. What a punch. He just misses there with the left. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big leg kick land. Oh, a huge block there. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a Telestrator uh -huh. into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Good punch lands. And they separate. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Got the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh, big shot to the body. And they separate. Look at the turtle in that kick. Straight right hand, no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Leg kick. And they clinch once again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, man, head kick lands. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big punch land. What a tricky head kick. Oh, big left hand there. 
Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to put a cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, big shot lands. Ooh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Punch over the top. Oh! Oh! To kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got a first bat. Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. He went high on that one. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Big kick land. landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Great punch landed with so much power. Now he touches him with the left. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. High-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Great punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Head kick lands, he's hurt. Big and kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Caught the kick. Ooh, what a punch. Single collar tie now. He blocks the punch. What a rush and potentially a critical takedown here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. 
Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from the style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to his feet. Oh, man. That, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Those leg kicks, man, that's his investment. His investment is in the leg kicks. That's how he slows these guys down and he breaks them down. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. A little single collar tie there. Huge knee lands from in close. They continue to exchange. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. And there comes the separation now. Nice leg kick land. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the legs, got to the position, got another beautiful takedown. Push him up. Push him up. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. 30 seconds to go. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. All right, single collar tie now. Trying to kick the leg out. Ten seconds. And that left hook landed on the button. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Nice punch lands over the top. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Trying the flying knee there. Left hook to the head. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice punch there. And they separate. Oh, caught a flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. 
Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much to just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. A single collar tie. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. That was a stunning leg kick. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his Oh, look at the top. This fight's going to be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Muay Thai plump. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Now he's start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he got it hurt bad! Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. A nice stick to the body. Way to fix up the target. Big head kick lands. Nice loop and punch. Left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Oh, tags him with that uppercut. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Great punch. What does he follow that uppercut with next time? He lands so effective. Oh, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. And his opponent has the power that he possesses. It's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm gonna take one to give him. Caught that kick there. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Gotta be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Final seconds. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. 20 minutes down. Potentially five to go. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Caught the kick. Just misses with the left hook. 
Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Misses with that punch. check these low leg kicks. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Head kick lands. Good stick. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Take down lands. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Well, not a great visual now. Two professional athletes visibly exhausted like this. They have brought the best out of each other, and I guess if you're going to gas out, at least your opponent's gas too. At times, it was nice. At times, it was pretty. Right now, it ain't pretty. <laughs> Back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Huge block there. Steady. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Ooh, what a punch. Single collar tie now. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Just misses with the jab there. Whiffs on that offering. Whoa, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Nice leg kick. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Beautiful strike. He missed with that jab attempt there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Stuff the takedown, no problem. What a fight! Body kick right there, landed perfect.
All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-45. Played the winner by unanimous decision, the girl.